hi viewers welcome back to our channel so today we are going to discuss a good topic what is total income so here i mean to say uh, total income is nothing but the income from which sources you are earning okay then here you observe the carefully this one here income tax is levied on the assc total income income tax means the assc earns income from various sources like income from salary income from house property income from business or profession income from capital gains income from other sources such as such incomes are treated as total income and it has to be computed as per the provisions contained in the income tax act 1961 the procedure for computation of income tax will be done by applying the following points so here you observe carefully Uh, in the in the first class we discuss what is income tax why we have to pay the income tax okay in this class i will i will give, I'm going to give a good clarity regarding the total income and what are the different sources you are getting the income uh, how you are going to calculate the total income with a, a small example problem here so you observe carefully uh, till end you observe this uh, video then you will get a clarity regarding what is total income so uh, i have given some points also here these points are the very very important while you are calculating total income you observe the points here uh, first of all while you are doing a you are a total income for the assessment year 2021 the previous year will be considered for for your calculation purpose the previous year is nothing but we call it as a financial year the financial year will be considered for the calculation of total income for the assessment year 2021 so first of all you have to determine the residential status in the residential status class also we discuss uh, what are the procedure and what are the points we need to keep in our mind while we are calculating the residential status so first of all we have to determine the residential status of a person while we are calculating the total income in case of an individual the number of days of his stay in india during the relevant previous year or the earlier previous year will be considered for determining the his or her residential status and in an individual undivided family either a resident and not and ordinary resident resident but not ordinary resident non resident over this uh, the residential status should be determining the factor for calculating the total income then next one here persons other than an individual and hindu undivided family can either resident or non resident then company point of view an indian company is resident in india so here you have to observe carefully this fifth point here a company not being an indian company but having its uh, place of effective control and management in india in a particular year would be resident in india for that year control and management is important here from which country you are controlling and managing your business regarding company point of view that is the most important here then for every other assc is a place where the control and management of its affairs are situated during the relevant previous year that is whether in india or outside india we have to consider while we are doing the problems also these are the key factors we have to keep in your mind while calculating the total income of a person individual company okay hindu one dividend family etc then here uh, i think you got uh, the few on points in your mind so here the next one is here computation of income under different heads here this is important here the income of a person should be identified and grouped under the respective head then the total income will be calculated as under okay suppose nowadays you observe most of the people they are doing different types of activities to get to earn more income okay from all these incomes we put together we are doing a total income that is called computation of total income under income tax act are categorized into five heads namely income from salary income from house property income from business or profession income from capital gains income from other sources these are the five heads you have to keep in your mind while you are calculating the 
total income you observe these five heads income from salary okay income from house property income from business or profession capital gains and other sources okay in the next class we are going to discuss a detailed individually these heads the next one here computation of income tax under different heads i have taken a small pro forma this pro forma you are going to follow while you are calculating the total income then first one serial numbers i have given 1 2 3 4 5 income mm -hmm. heads are there and amount also written here you observe carefully while you are calculating the total income of a person individual company okay these are the different sources you are getting the incomes okay first one is here income from salary under section 15 to 17 we are going to consider under the income tax act 1961 so we are going to get some amount here then even though we have some deductions also under section 16 here some deductions are there after deducting the amount the final amount will be written in the amount the next one second one here income from house property under section 22 to 27 then again the deductions also applicable here after deduction the final amount will be written in the amount box then income from business or profession under section 28 to 44d deductions also there under section 24 then income from capital gains under section 45 55a deductions under section 54 also there then income from other sources under section 56 to 59 deductions under okay under section 57 these are the deductions we are applying for individual heads after we are doing we will get some amount the amount is called gross total income okay after getting gross total income here again we are going to apply the deductions under section 80c2 80 you then finally you will get a net taxable income what is your net taxable income you are going to get after doing this uh, uh, table this pro forma here what happens here you will get some amount that is called net taxable income the next one here i have taken small example problem okay by um, by observing this table you will get clarity and how you are going to do uh, this lab rates in what way you are applying also you will get some clarity for example here i am taking small example after computation you got net taxable income is 10 lakhs for example i am saying here you got 10 lakhs net taxable income is 10 lakhs we have to apply slabs for the assessment year 2021 has under you observe income slabs income tax net taxable income okay here observe 0 to 2 lakhs 50000 Zero to two lakhs fifty thousand. Here, that is a nil. Okay, then two lakhs fifty thousand to five lakhs. That is two lakhs fifty thousand is your income. Then five percentage will be deducted. The five percent is here twelve thousand five hundred. Then next over here, five lakhs to ten lakhs. Your income is five lakhs. Then twenty percentage will be. We need to get what is the twenty percentage amount? That is twenty percentage is here. One lakh is a twenty percentage. 10 lakhs are yebo that is nil and nil based on these example we have taken nil because your income is only 10 lakhs that is the reason we are uh, we are doing income in the in the place of income here nil and the tax is also nil okay 10 lakhs the tax amount is 1 lakh 12500 is the tax amount okay again here we are adding surcharge also that is 4 percentage surcharge On one lakh twelve thousand five hundred, that is one lakh seventeen thousand is your net tax amount which you are going to pay for the income tax department. Okay, I think you got the understanding of these problem. So this is example. In the next class, we are going to discuss individual heads, uh, the amount also. So viewers, those who are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you for. For listening, please subscribe to my channel, Fine Telangana. So you observe carefully. These are the slides. Once again, I'm given total income here. Uh, determine the residential status is very important. This is a deciding factor while we are calculating income, total income of a person. These are the different heads, and this is the table. Okay, I think you got understanding regarding this one. So thank you very much for.